Okay, so switch on. This is my Pi booting from SSD. Uh, so we should start to see the blue light. There you go. So it flicks on there. And you'll see it booting up a little bit quicker. Not a lot quicker on the original boot because it's having to use the micro SD card to boot. Uh, and then it switches over to the SSD. But you can see it's accessing the SSD. Uh, I'm going to switch over to uh, screen capture now just because it looks a lot better. Okay, so it's all booted up now. Um, thanks goes to uh, Try At Home, uh, which is uh, a YouTube channel, which uh, this is where I find out, found out how to boot from USB on a Raspberry Pi 4, because it's not actually officially supported yet. Uh, on the guide, I did have a, um, a bit where it didn't go quite correctly. So if you do the same as me, and uh, on your desktop, you get your SSD show up as a removable drive, then it has not worked. Um, so if I click on here, you can see that I've got free space of 96.4 gig. Uh, it's 120 gig SSD uh, running with a USB caddy. Uh, and the original boot, the very first part of the boot runs from the micro SD, but then after that it switches over to the SSD drive and so the performance is quicker. So where it goes a bit strange on the guide is at about eight minutes 22, um, it, uh, if I go back to it, I'm just looking at my iPad now, um, he starts to, um, there's a, there's a weird edit cut where you don't see some of the process, um, and also, uh, it seems to be that he's changing the boot command line on the external drive, and I think, uh, and I followed it to the letter, uh, and I think that you have to come out of that and then actually change it. Uh, on the actual SD card itself in the Pi. So if you boot the Pi um, and then go into terminal just on the SD card before you put the SSD in, uh, change that uh, line. So the bit at um, at 8.29, I think it is. Yeah, so the bit that goes sudo nano forward slash boot forward slash command line dot text. So in the video at 8 minutes 34, uh, is showing it running on the external drive and I'm pretty sure it needs to be run on the micro SD card because that's the bit that needs to tell it to look for the SSD. But if you get trouble, I'll try and put this in the description as well. But anyway, down to the, to the operating system itself. Uh, so what I'm going to do is in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to show it running on my micro SD card. Okay, so let's start the test. So open up the image. Rotate the image. Change the colors to inverted. And close that down. Change the desktop image. Uh, what have we got to do? Office right and out. Insert an image into that. Pop a text box onto that. Select the text, change it to red, change it to 100, uh, and then close that. And then it was uh, Office and Impress. Blueprint. Insert 
a chart, change the text to say chart, and then close that one down as well. Then a bit of Tetris. And I'm not speeding up any of this, uh, so I'm just gonna let them drop to the bottom. If you've got an OCD, look away. So let three drop. Uh, and then rec our preferences recommended software just to see how long that takes to come up. This can be closed down. There we go. Uh, and then tux cart one lap. So I've got my Xbox wired controller plugged in, so there's no configuration needed. So normal race. I'm not trying not to uh, use the speed boost too much because I didn't use it on the other test. Okay, and then uh, copy image, oh yeah, to a folder. So if I close that down, uh, so I was gonna create a new folder. This should be one of the big tests for it um, as to how much faster it's gonna be. So copy a video, paste, and copy that image. No, not that one. Oh, crikey, it's already done the... Yeah, that that's definitely loads quicker. There you go, and that's the full test. Um, I'll just show you the uh, Chromium web browser quickly. Uh, not part of this speed test, but just to show how well it's doing. So, BBC. But with together with the SSD um, and, uh, and Raspbian on the Raspberry Pi 4, it, it's really pleasant to use. It really does work well. Uh, it feels like a, you know, not. It's not a frustrating environment. UK deals. And open that page up. It's got a lot of images on it. There you can see, not not slow at all. And let's go. Last one. Go to YouTube. Go to go to my channel, start playing a video. There you go, so that plays nice and fast. 
I haven't loaded up the browser on this at all before this test. Um, this is a new install on this SSD. Um, obviously, it's not quite caught up on the uh, on the graphics there. Let's go on a bit and see if it if it switches to HD. It says it's 720. Oh, and I was going to play the uh, video file just to show that. That would be a 1080 file. Um, you can see that playing full screen. Okay, so I've just put iOS, uh, beta a little bit glitchy. Nothing to do with the SSD, just to do with the optimization at the moment for, for video playback. I guess it's a 1080 file. Okay, so uh, I hope this helps. I'll put uh, more information in the description, but obviously I didn't come up with the method of doing it. That's the YouTube channel, Try At Home. So you wanna have a look there. Um, but uh, just for that little bit, around about eight minutes, 22, I'll try and put in what I did differently to get mine to work. Because initially when I was doing it, the SSD was coming up here as a removable drive uh, and it wasn't actually booting from the SSD. So I can see that the light on my SSD is flashing to show that it's got disk access uh, and it's definitely not using the micro SD card uh, during this whole process. Anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, I must try it with overclocking uh, and maybe noobs and various other different systems uh, and see if the method still works the same. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.